Roger. This is the Family Showdown! Hi folks, today we're going to give you a two-for-one review both of Timeline and Timeline Challenge. Timeline is a card game where you are competing to create a timeline and get rid of your cards the quickest. And Timeline Challenge takes those cards and puts it in a board game form. Instead of building a timeline, you're doing various challenges with those cards in an effort to race around to the finish line. Let's take a closer look at them. Since Timeline is so easy to play and learn, we decided we'd do a quick run through and show you how the game runs. Yeah, each player gets four cards and the goal is to get rid of all your cards. Um, just so you know, we're going to spoil a few cards for you out of the historical events, so if you're a little crazy about that, then skip ahead. <laughs> but, so we, all you do is you deal out four cards to each player and then you, you do a, you seed a start card. And in this case, it's the first oil well in 1859. And what you want to do is you want to take one of your cards and put it either before or after that. If you think it's before, you put it on this side. If you think it's after, you put it on this side. If you're correct, the card stays. If you're incorrect, you discard that card and you draw a placement card. And I'll let the lovely lady go first. All right. I'm going to go. And I have the arrest of Jack Rackham. All right. I'm going to say that came before 1859. So you put it here, and flip, and ha-ha, it was 1720. I was correct. All right. Your turn, sir. I'm going to go with the start of the Cold War, which Aww. I believe is fairly recent, comparatively. <laughs> so I'll put it on this side and flip it over, and I was right. All right. Um, let's see. I'll go with the Fall of Babylon. There's a gimme for you. Obviously, that happened before 1720 because it happened in 539 B.C. So, there you go. Your turn, sir. And let's see. The invention of Enoch. Enoch? It's a computer, so I, I don't know. That one, was it after Ooh. 46? I'm going to hope it is. So we'll put it here and flip it. <gasps> no! <laughs> Enoch. It was 1944. And I draw a replacement card. And the game continues like that until you, someone runs out of cards. If you need to, you, obviously you can make a space to put a card in, in between. And the first one to get rid of all their cards wins. That's Timeline. Now let's go ahead and take a close look at Timeline Challenge. Here is the Timeline Challenge board. At the very top, you'll notice the timeline itself. Underneath the dates, you'll see corresponding numbers 0 through 9. You will be referencing these numbers on your player card as you compete in each challenge. In the middle of the board is the clock. This is the track, which you'll use your pieces to race to the finish, and the leader at each turn determines which trial you compete in based on what you land on. Now let's look at the cards themselves. Timeline Challenge comes with its own timeline cards but you can also substitute any of the other timeline game cards for a more variety of play. Let's look at the different trials. The yellow trial is called the right date. You will take your player board and put in what you believe is the correct date that that event occurred. The plus is for AD and the minus is for BC. The next trial is the green trial called Timeline 4. In this trial, you've got four different cards and you are going to guess what position on the board they occur in. So, for example, in the square where it says Apple Foundation, if you believe that happened after 1970, you would put a 9 in the square slot on your player board. Each correct answer moves you ahead one space on the board. The next trial, the purple trial, is called the combination. In this one, you are guessing the order of events of the four cards. So you'll place one, two, three, and four under the corresponding shapes on your playing board. The next trial is the red trial called the bet. On this one, you get four chances to guess what date uh, this occurred at. So if you believe the invention of the stapler occurred in between 1930 and 1970, you can place 
eight four times. If you're not sure, you can hedge your bets. Put seven, eight, nine, and eight. You get four chances. The last trial is the blue trial called the split. In this one, you've got two cards and you use your player board to guess the gap in years between the events of those two cards. Let's talk a little bit more about the clock. This is where all the action takes place. So right off the bat, the players take part in a challenge, the timeline four, and once that's over with, whoever ends up being in the furthest in the lead decides what the next challenge is. This takes place until someone passes one of the borders of the challenges. The first one you pass is called Sudden Death. And what this is, is the, play, the two players furthest back on the board just play a game of timeline. And the winner of that game gets to move ahead three places. But in a two-player game, if the one that's further ahead wins, then nobody moves. So only the one that's furthest back can, can move ahead in the two-player game. Again, you keep going until you pass another border of another challenge, and this one's called More or Less. And this is a moderated game. The two players that are furthest back take, play, take part in this game. And what they do is the moderator draws a card, someone not participating in the challenge, um, draws a card, and then the players take turns guessing the exact date of that card. And the moderator says, more or less, hot, cold, that kind of thing. And uh, whoever uh, determines the exact date moves ahead three spaces. But in the two-player game, you do not play this because you do not have a moderator. So you just take another game of sudden death instead. This, and then you continue onward until someone crosses the finish line and that person wins the game. And if more than one player crosses the finish line at the same time, it's a shared victory, but we usually play a game of timeline to decide the winner. And that's Timeline Challenge. So there you have it, Timeline and Timeline Challenge. In Timeline, it's a simple card game with sneaks in, a little bit of education underneath. For two players, there's absolutely no variant. You play it exactly the same way. The only difference is when we play, we usually add more cards to make it a little more interesting. Epic. Epic. <laughs> Epic Timeline. For Timeline Challenge, it takes those cards and makes it a board game. Um, the only difference for two-player is you don't uh, play the moderated version. And in fact, it says in the rule book that you ignore that. And in the cheat sheet, it says to play the sudden death twice, which is what we do. So that's kind of a, a misprinty kind of thing that I'd like to point out. But other than that, they're both a really fun game. Um, one thing else about the timeline challenge is that you, you will fly through cards. So if you buy the game, I suggest to back it up with a couple of uh, versions of timeline itself. Yeah, it's a good investment. And but at the same time, too, the fun with it a lot of times is to compare dates and things like that. So unless you've got someone who's got a really good memory for dates, you probably aren't going to memorize the deck that quickly. So, you know, it's pros and cons depends on who you're playing with. Yep. Um, I really enjoy the the components to the game too that's sturdy. The board is really large, which might be a downside, but at the same time it's got these great cheat sheets. So if you forget which challenge or which trial does what, you can flip to that and on the back side it's got the rules about the challenges. It's got little cardboard components to help you list things when you do the order trials. And of course, let's not forget the handy player board. It's sturdy and it's got these great solid little dials that you can um, manipulate and it does not come apart. It's really well made. So I really like that. I do have one comment about this. When you put these together, read the instructions very closely because yes. you wouldn't think the orientation of the wheels would matter too much. But they do and if you put it together wrong, <laughs> it's, like she said, very sturdy, so it's hard to take apart. Yes. And then the last component that, of course, we'd like to mention are these adorable little components that look like the Monopoly pieces. They're really adorable. I love them. They're plastic, but they're still cool. Very cool. So there you have it, Timeline and Timeline Challenge. I think this is a really great game with, like I said, education mixed in. So let's do our Warp Factor. What do you think? I would give this one a Warp Factor 8. Just to be different, I'm going to give it a Warp Factor 7.
online challenge and time. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.